So we're in Abbey Road Studio One. This is the biggest of the studios. Quite often the one which you see on Channel 4 and many of the musicians normally just kind of sit in with just a chair in the middle, but this huge, huge room. Becky Rose is trying to lose as many CDs as he possibly can to some of those greats. How many did he come with? Um, I came with 30 okay. of my latest day EP, yep. You got one CD yep. left. So how's today been so far? Oh, it's been amazing. It, this is, like, for me, it's life-changing, this is. I, you know, I can't believe I've had this opportunity. So. Life-changing is a big statement, so what have you learned? The reason it's life-changing for me is because I thought that I had to conform to certain standards when writing music in order to uh, be noticed. Now I can go back to being myself and try not to be conventional. <laughs> So. That is very true because every single artist you ever hear never really sounds like another one, but there's always people on a local scene who sound like someone you've heard of. Yeah, well, like if ever I listen to a song um, on the radio, I think maybe I should do a song that sounds like that, but it turns out obviously you get noticed for being unique. I, ch- I tend to change. At the minute, I'm going through a sort of electronic stage in, um, where I'm using a lot of synths, a lot of heavy bass. I love bass at the minute. It's probably because I go out a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> but that's also a big scene and that's an interesting point you can walk into your pubs and your clubs and it's not what you're hearing at your gigs it's not what you're hearing necessarily on the radio but what is cutting it in the clubs is dirty bass lines and things like that so that's kind of where you're aiming us slightly at the moment. yeah I mean the only thing that's problematic with that is because I perform live with just a keyboard and vocals so I'm looking to sort of develop that and that's probably one of the questions I might put forward to um, Joe Wiley in the next um, question time that's coming up is how do you recreate that sound when you're live yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because that's important, because I don't know whether it's good to have that sort of variety, to have, like, the gentle acoustic, then the heavy recordings, or whether they prefer it if it's more consistent. And just describe that feeling as well when you first got that message on your email saying you're off to Abbey Road. Um, I just wanted to shout it from the rooftops, basically, and I pretty much did. <laughs> BBC introducing in Hereford and Worcester with Andrew Marston Friday nights from 7 Be part of it Well they don't come much more avant-garde than this chap Just heard a full song by him just recently and this is, of course, the enigmatic, the very avant-garde, Lewis spelt backwards, who was entertaining, he was a ha- headline last week at the Crown Anchor. And he's, uh, this song is all, actually all about his um, taste in uh, dress fashion and how he dresses up and this sort of thing. It's called Star, and he had the usual outrageous headway on last Friday. A bit of gospel thrown in, even. But what was amazing, he actually covered, believe it or not, a couple of Becky Rose's tracks. That's brilliant. And of course, the dress in my wardrobe goes without mention for those of you who know Lewis. And he finished off with a motorway flourish. Stunning stuff from our Lewis. I can absolutely imagine. And uh, well, I've actually I got some reaction from Becky Rose about what she thought of the performance. I just wanted to shout it from the rooftops. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks very much, uh, Becky, of course, yesterday. At the Musicians Masterclass taking place at Abbey Road Studios, which is where I was as well. Fantastic event was had by...